Hi Dave. Um, so I noticed that when like I watch your videos, I remember what I want to say to you, but I don't remember like what I want to say to like in response to you. Um, so like this time I made little notes. So like <laughs> if I'm not looking at you, that's where I'm looking. Um, I think it's really cool that you film during class. Um, I've never done that, but that's because I don't, well, maybe I have. I don't remember. Um, oh yeah, I have filmed during class before. Um, it was when I had, well, let me see if I can grab it real quick. Hold on. I used, I, I have this little bitty video camera that my parents got me when I, I think I was a senior. Yeah, I was a senior, and I was like, Mom, Dad, I really want a video camera, because I think I was just starting to get into YouTube. And um, I love this little thing, but it stopped working. And uh, I would film during class, like, all the time. This thing was freaking awesome. It had a gig of built-in memory. It was just freaking amazing, and then it just it stopped working. And I don't know why. It I, n I never really, dr I never dropped it. I didn't have it long enough for to abuse it like, you know, just stop working. It sucks. But, um, yeah, I have filmed during class before because I have that. I just remembered. Um, Brisbane is really lovely. I like the skyline. It's, it's very nice. Um, maybe one day I'll show you the Houston skyline from Elle's point of view. It's kind of hard to find a good place to see it, though. Because, um, the skyline, like, yeah, you can see it from the road and everything, but you can't really stop on the freeway, and the only thing that's really, you can, you can see the skyline very well. Um, everything else is down low, so, yeah, you can still see the skyline, but there's, like, a lot of ugly small buildings in front of them. So it's, uh, but maybe I will. Um, I think it's funny you got distracted by the blonde, you're just like, Sorry, there's a blonde in a bikini. It's like something that would distract me. Um, I understand you don't want to reveal too much information about your travel plans. I'm just excited that you might come here to the U.S. I mean, that'd be really freaking cool, friend. And so, like, it'd be really fun to meet you. Um, okay, now on to the nit and gritty. Weapons in an office. Um, this is something that we are um, having to contemplate for our movie that Brandon's doing, so I'm not going to tell you what our eventual solution was, because, well, I really like ours, but, um, I don't want to give too much away, but yes, the killer is in the office in the end. Um, so I won't give away what we're going to use, because it's pretty ingenious, but I'll, I'll let you know, like, some of the things that we thought about, like, um, a pencil. Very, very simple, very, very effective, just, <clears throat> into somebody's skin, distract them, and find something else to use to kick their ass with. Um, a paperweight. Paperweights are heavy, blunt objects. Quick strike to the back of the head. If not unconscious, a lot of bleeding. Um, now, another thing we thought about was uh, a nameplate. Those things that are on people's desks that say, you know, Paula Sherman director CEO or whatever it just says what she is and it's a it's a triangle basically oh well, a triangular prism to use my uh, ge geometry words it, it's a rectangle uh, triangular prism if you got that and you again like did like a back of the head move if you jam it just right in the right place you could really fuck somebody up um, and depending on <clears throat> the integrity of the chairs around the office and the strength of the killer, you could, like, break off, um, one of the legs, of, and that'd be a pretty, like, brutal killing, killing weapon, like, just for the final blow, like, maybe through the stomach or something. I love how it didn't take me very much to come up with all that. Yay, Reddit screwed me up! Okay, um... I'm going to Galveston, which is this itty-bitty little shit island. Um, just 
separated from land by a bridge, basically. It's not that far. Um, I go there every year, um, uh, and I'm going with Brandon. Uh, it's our anniversary trip. We're going for three days, and we're going to go to the beach, and we're going to go to Moody Gardens, which is this, um, I'll explain Moody Gardens in a second, and we're going to go to our favorite restaurant on the island. Um, Moody Gardens is these, this resort, I suppose. It's a resort, it's a hotel, it's a beach, it's a theme park, it's, it's, uh, these three pyramids. One pyramid is called the Rainforest Pyramid. You can see through it. Um, it's kind of like a greenhouse, so to speak. It's very humid, and it's got, before the hurricane, it had all this vegetation, and in there they had a three-toed sloth, and like three or four sets of parrots, and a fox bat, and like vampire bats, and piranhas, and turtles, and all sorts of stuff. Now they only have like a couple of the fish, and a couple of the turtles and the parrots but all the other animals were moved to the aquarium pyramid during the storm and they haven't been moved back yet so like we're not going to that pyramid this year we went last year and it's kind of a waste of money honestly right now um, unless you've got built it up very educational style so there's lots of things for kids to do to learn about the rainforest um, but otherwise it's kind of a waste of time for adults and it wasn't really a waste of time before and I hope that they move all the animals back but we're going to the Aquarium Pyramid this year. And they've got, you know, all the animals from the Rainforest Pyramid. And they've also got, um, these penguins. And, uh, you can meet the penguins. So, like, there's there's this thing where you can be in a room with a penguin and say hi. Um, and the penguins do art. Um, what they do is they put down paper and they put non-toxic dye on the penguins' feet. And, the, and with a little help, they walk the penguin across the paper and then they sell the pay they sell that art for um to help wildlife conservation. It doesn't hurt the penguins. They seem to really enjoy it. They just march around just doing their march the penguin thing. Um and then the third pyramid we're going to go to next year, it's uh the Discovery Pyramid. It's um kind of a museum about uh about uh space exploration. Um, so if you do it right, you can do one pyramid every year for three years and have something to do on the island. So I don't know what else we're going to do next year, but, yeah, I go to Galveston every year. Um, it's not pretty water, like, at all, because the Mississippi River comes down into the Gulf. It churns up all the water, all the, uh, seaward facing, uh, the sea, all the seas, uh, you know, along the Gulf you know, like, just from Louisiana down onto Texas, all that's just dirt, shit, brown water because the Mississippi churns it up. Like, if you go 60 miles out, the water's clear again, like it's supposed to be. But, uh, so Galveston water's not pretty. It's not good to swim in. You know, there's jellies, and you can't see what creatures are coming towards you, and it's kind of scary. But, um, I go every year, and I don't mind. I really don't. Just as long as no fish touch me, I'm okay. Um, but yeah, that's, and, um, I didn't know, like, what my schedule was for, until, like, like, what my schedule was up until when I go. So I packed yesterday, and I could have possibly packed today, but I'm packed for my trip on Monday. Woohoo! And today I'm gonna go get a pedicure, and wax, and gonna go get sunscreen and a couple other things for the trip.